Okay, welcome back guys. So this has been a while I opened this file. So now looking at this file now, it's looking like the face is did I say it too symmetrical? It's looking like it's too symmetrical. Thinking probably should probably adjust some few things in here so it doesn't look extremely symmetrical. It is looking quite symmetrical if you ask me. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can change up in here. So I'm still on the asymmetry. So I go to lower subdivision level, then I would let me take down this month intensity for this. Turn up symmetry. Probably smooth this down a bit more, like so. So we have one side a bit bumpy compared to the other side. Then for the next label fold, think I would. Smooth this out a bit more. Let's go to the higher subdivision level. Smooth this out even more. Something like so. Just trying to break symmetry as much as I can in here. Okay. All right. What else? We have done beautiful symmetry for the eye already, so that should be fine. So I'm going to break symmetry on the forehead. So I think I would use the dem standard brush. I need to apply an alpha to this dem standard brush. Mm. Let's use Aqua 37 instead. this around the air uh, holding I think check this check lazy mouse take this down probably increase the lazy mouse radius a little bit whoa that's too aggressive so I'll just do something around here like so okay something in here smooth this out a bit more all right just trying to break the shapes of this character even more it doesn't look completely symmetrical Think that should be fine. So, but the main the main aspect of our tutorial this today would be to add some skin pores to this. So, I think I've broken this symmetry enough. So let's leave this the way it is. Then let's create a new layer. Let's first crank this up to the highest subdivision level. Years are looking a bit kind of weird here. What did I even stop for this years? Years are looking a bit weird. Turn on symmetry for this. Go to a lower subdivision level. This is a funny looking year shape. Sticking this part out, smooth this out a bit more. Smooth this out a bit more. Let's go to an higher subdivision level. Flesh this part out smooth. Check the under parts. Uh, it's messed up. I'll go to brush. 
auto maxing back fix maxing smooth this out yes it's no longer affecting the back anymore that's precisely what we want okay that's fine so uh yeah we did that we did that to see me return down which is fine that's precisely what we want maybe a bit more than small this out with the move brush go to the lower subdivision level and then why is no moving anything Why is my move intense and not much so? I think that should be fine. So to the topic of the day, adding skin force to this. So I'll go to the subdivision level. Then first be a quick save for this. So I'm going to be starting with the base for, and I'm going to be using the flip normal base skin for for this. <clears throat> so uh, let's create a new layer in here. We name this to base falls. Okay. But the first thing we need to do is to go to the lower subdivision level first. I we need to paint in from in here. We need to paint in some marks where we don't want the skin, where we don't want the skin pores to be largely affected. So uh let's see. Uh so yes, we need to use our uh, Pen, okay, it's already on pen marks, and that's precisely what we want. So I would like to go one step division level lower again, so I can get some smooth edge around it. Take down my brush size. Mm. So I'm just going to max out around corners of the eye like so, but not too aggressively though. So I'm kind of using gentle strokes around this. This mask blue is not giving me better results. I'm going to see my maxing properly. So I need to max out the lips. Do I have okay, yes? Let's get this out. This will us do a pretty good job in here. So let's max out these parts. Also max out the edge of the lip. Okay, something pretty much like so should be fine. So let's invert. Let's invert the marks. And we'll paint for the lower part of the lip. Let's get a better angle around the air like so. A bit more on the inner part of the lip. All right. Let's bring everything back out. Let's 
Let's get a bit more around here. Then let's do something faint also for the year. Let's just smooth this out. Get a bigger brush size, so let's just do something faint. Shouldn't be too aggressive, just something faint around the ear. So I'm going a bit light handed for the ear. I think something like this should should be fine. I believe we are good. Okay. All right. So next thing we're going to do is to usually we don't want the skin pores to be affecting so much of where we just maxed out. So what we're going to oh this bone looks a bit high. Let me break. Uh, I'll leave that the way it is for now. Well, maybe I can just quickly adjust that. All right. So. All right. So we will go to the highest subdivision level for this. So on the highest submission level, let's see if we captured everything. Simply need to do a bit more maxing. Make sure symmetry is turned on. I think this should be fine. Yeah, this should be fine. So we'll just blow out the marks. So let's just blow out the marks. Should probably go to a lower subdivision level. Then blow the marks out a bit more. Something like that. Then uh yes, we would go to let's see. We would uh oh yes surface surface noise let's click on noise in here I think I should have some kind of setting for the noise in here Yes, I do so. We might just be using some of, some of these settings in here. Okay, so I'm going to be using the flip normals alpha in here for this. So to bring that in, so just come down here where you see alpha on and off, click on it. Then we need to I think that should be in my local disk. Look for ZBrush. Z Alpha, so it should be around flip, flip skin tie label, so it should be around here. I think this skin, I can't even remember which skin was I even using. Which skin was I even using? Uh, you know what? Let's figure out. Let's figure out which one I actually used. So I'll come to my light box in here, then I'll go to I think under alpha. Let me put this aside. <clears throat> so flip skin tileable. Okay. 
Uh, I think this pause O2. Yes. It's definitely the pause O2 I use. So, so now that we know that we know what we're going to use, let's just go in there again. So it's enough to do this all over again. See how far for O2. Okay. Let's zoom in. Right now, the skin pore is kind of mixing. Skin pore is mixing with. Where's this? Skin pore is mixing with noise, some noise. Which we don't want. So let's see what the settings we used in here. Let's get a closer view. Get the closer view in here. So I'll put this on max. Noise scales on one, alpha scale. We leave the alpha scale for now. What is this? Let's do this. Uh, you is messed up. Something doesn't feel right. Why am I getting this weird? Okay, okay, now we're getting something. You just need to intensify this a bit more, yes. So I don't <coughs> probably mix. I don't know if I would like. To, I don't know if I like to mix this with some noise, some basic noise. I'm not too sure. Let's try. Now nah, that's just giving some weird results. I think difference seems like a better one. We are getting some measure of noise in there. So something like that should be fine. Let's increase this intensity a bit more. I don't have I don't have too much mixed noise with it. So I'll put very little, something around here should be fine. But now, obviously, we need we need more. We would need to crank this up a bit more. Uh, so now we're having some weirdness on the edge because we're using 3D instead of UV. So let's use UV instead. So now we're having some weird shape around here, but that's fine. We're still going to cover all of this up in a bit. But generally, the <clears throat> generally we need to take down the alpha scale. We need something a bit smaller. And it's just way too small. We're almost getting something that we like. Let's get a bit more intensity to this. Oh, I didn't even scope details for the nipples. Uh, we'll do that in a bit. Just need to figure out this skin for detail first. But this is just going to be like the first pass of skin 
pour detail before we now go in and then make some more make some more adjustment to it by layer layering some xyz skin for detail on top of it so i'm basically just checking this from the distance just to be sure we think we need smaller skin for Yeah, this is a more tighter skin for detail. So it's looking like it's way too tight. Feels like it's way too tight. But this should actually work. It feels too tight, but maybe I should just. Go back increase the value slightly. So we have 0 0.004. Let's use something around 0 0.006 instead. Let's try 0 0.006 instead. Uh, this, this is looking like our locking number. Yeah, it's looking like a locking number. So I'll click OK on this. Should probably take a screenshot of this instead. Of these settings. So I can always reuse that later on. So I'm just going to with my screenshots. Just take a screenshot of this settings. Copy. I just paste that on here. Yes. Good. All right. So clicking OK again on this, and I'm going to check. My model properly, and I'm noticing now that now that I need more maxing for the lips because I can see smooth skin pores picking through the lips. So I'm just going to max out this region for the eye. I don't start affecting that so much, and I'll do a stronger max for the lips also. This is supposed to be maxing everything out. I don't know why. <clears throat> I don't know why it's not. I don't skin post are affecting this. Why is it not working? Now this is like the strangest thing. This is extremely strange. I'm not supposed to be getting not supposed to be getting any skin pores on the lips. Or wherever please I kind of maxed out. Wait, let me see. Probably maybe because of the back face maxing or something. No, this is actually turned on. This is rather strange. Why am I getting max serious? Really, the max out seems important details in there. I don't start smoothing things out on the lips. I don't know what to start doing that. Even 
when you max is invert, this is just this is weird. This is weird. This is just weird. Still in there. Uh, okay. I think I have another idea on how to fix this. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's start by. I'll do. I'll do a max by max by noise. No, undo that. Let me go to the higher subdivision level first. And let's do a max bar noise. Okay, it actually works now. I don't know why it wasn't working before. I was, I was just strange. Maybe if we should, maybe if we should undo this and take this down, <clears throat> smooth normal, and just do. Let's try to. Let's try and just apply this to the mesh instead. Let's see what that gives us. Let's see if it's going to exclude whichever region that, that I've maxed out. Let's see. Okay, that's a very faint effect on the lips. Maybe the mistake I made was creating the marks on a lower subdivision level instead of our own instead of instead of an higher subdivision level. But so far, this came out. This came out great. You can see we're having some tight skin pores around this, which is precisely what we want. Yeah, this is precisely what I want. Except for the fact that I would like to make this a bit more intense, so I won't do this. And I will crank up the intensity a bit more. Since I can also use my use layer to kind of reduce the intensity of the skin pore, but let's just get something a bit stronger. Get something a bit stronger, like so. Click OK, then click on Apply to Mesh. Okay, that has been successfully applied. So if I go out of this now. You can see some stronger skin point in there. So all, 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 like, all I just have to do is to come in here, turn off the recording, then I can easily dial this down. Can easily dial down the intensity of this, which is precisely what I want. So uh, at least I have more control. I have more control over that. Okay. Yeah, this will work just fine. This will work just fine. 